Don't just let your bad patio furniture sit there decaying and rotting in your front yard. Give it some love. It loves you. You're not ready to break up with it. You're not ready to move in that new boyfriend. So just learn to love what you have. Regan Jane here, and today we're going to see what kids get their parents for Christmas. What do you get a parent for Christmas? Did I get my parents anything for Christmas? So our really good friends' kids came to us this Christmas season and asked if we would help them with a really big project for their parents. Those are like the cutest kids ever. They were like, Mom, Dad, your bedroom is dated. We are helping you out. It was a long few days, but man, it was totally worth it. I want to be friends with these people. They like each other. What is happening here? We've painted a wall. We've taped baseboards. Oh, look at that carpet, though. Oh. Whatever you can do to distract from that carpet. This is what install days look like and my clients see it and they're like, what? I thought this was a pretty process. No, how do you think furniture gets put together and adhered to walls? I love, is that the daughter just sitting in the corner as she makes her parents' friends do the whole thing? Just like, hey, can you help me? And by help me, I mean do the whole thing. Kids are really good at that. They said this was their parents' room, right? You wanna see what I see? Like, do you really want Piglet Poo and Eeyore like in your master bedroom? No, right? Just no. Or is that like the kids being like, I like this, my mommy's gonna love it too. <sighs> my kids give me beautiful things all the time to hang in my bedroom. Here, mommy, it's for your wall. I love it so much. Thank you. I hope my kids never find this video. Oh my god! Aww. They're like actually surprised. Oh, those are some cute yes. kids. I mean, if this is where you're starting your design career at eight, I actually think there's a lot of promise here. I mean, the before versus the after is excellent. Unnecessary and a little over-designed, maybe a tad, but I love that they did this project themselves. They upgraded their parents. This was out of love. The execution is great. They got it done in a weekend. They had creative ideas. Design-wise, I think we have put a lot of dressers in this room, but maybe there's a storage issue. I give them a creativity A and a joy and happiness from this video B. The house is still a C, but you taped it back together nicely. They certainly get extra points for surprising mom for Christmas. My kids know better than to ever remodel anything without asking me. I don't think my parents have ever gotten such a great Christmas gift. Mom and dad, I'm very sorry. I love you, just apparently not that much. So I have the best mom in the whole wide world and when I asked her what she wanted for Christmas, she just wants a little bit of help around the house. So I decided to fix up her deck. That she's People love their parents. What is happening? Another mom Christmas surprise? Hey mom, I got you this for Christmas. Meanwhile, I got myself 10,000 new TikTok followers. But it was all for you mom. This is how you become the favorite child. Removing the trash, step one always. Classic teenager move, just sweep it under the deck. Oh, she's so tired after this. Was there sanding? I didn't see any sanding. Okay, but she'll be out of the house before that paint starts chipping, so I see you, Ashton. Looks like she kind of painted that <laughs> bucket into a corner a little bit. How are you gonna get your tools now? Never make that mistake again. How are we feeling about this color, guys? It's like she rehabbed it into the old color that still kind of existed. It feels a little dated. Like a nice dark wood stain would have like brought it to life. Looks great on your nails though. I'm passionate about color. Oh, oh, she levels it up now. How much trouble is she in? And patio furniture kind of makes me upset because it's way more expensive than I thought. So I She's right. New patio furniture is expensive and good for her for cleaning this up and making it look the best she can. Don't just let your bad patio furniture sit there decaying and rotting in your front yard. Give it some love. It loves you. You're not ready to break up with it. You're not ready to move in that new boyfriend. So just learn to love what you have. If you want to give your mom a gift, clean something. And that's really what she did here. She painted it, she restored it to what it was, she cleaned up all the patio furniture, she just washed it all and put it back together and it looks amazing. The rug, she bought the rug and the pillows, nice addition. Remodeling might be a stretch of the use of a word when you just buy one rug. Don't forget, she did just sweep those under the deck. It's a good paint job. Let's see what mom thinks. Aw, mom seems thrilled. Good job, Ashton. A little elbow grease and cleaning things can make your mother very happy. Anyone notice how short mom's reaction is? She was just like, great, you finally cleaned something. Yeah, I've been telling you to do this for six months. 
Thanks. That's why she didn't have a budget. This was a chore her mom told her to do. One thing she could have done is spray painted the patio furniture. That's another option when you are trying to upgrade on a budget. She gets a thousand points for doing this for her parents. Either she really recently or she wants something. That's my takeaway. Good job. I hope you got that brand new car you were wanting. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Designer Reacts. Click the button to subscribe and don't forget to check back for weekly videos. And don't forget to follow me at Brig and Jane across all social media so you don't end up a victim of somebody else's design leftovers.